It has been two months since the last time I direct I cool my 9900K. It's a short period of time, so the liquid metal on the CPU die is still pretty good. Same thing can be said with the AIO, but I think you guys already knew. Liquid metal does have chemical reaction with copper. Spoiler alert, it does affect my AIO surface in the last two months. At the bottom left of the CPU die, there's a part that looks like the liquid metal was dried out. We will come back to that when I clean the CPU. The same stain area can be found on my water block, no liquid. Here is just my guess. There was a chemical reaction at that area, and I just have enough or too little tim, so it was dried out compared to the other parts. To avoid this, I think it's better to apply more tim, so that at the end of the chemical reaction, what is left will be a layer of copper gallium mixture and the excess of liquid metal. Thermal Grizzly conductor knot is very easy to clean with isopropyl alcohol. After cleaning, the stain mark remained on my CPU die. As I said, that could be a thin layer of copper gallium mixture. This mark could have been avoided if I have more liquid metal. Oh well. I use a Q-tip with alcohol to clean the AIO. The same mark on my CPU die is also stuck on the water block. But the surface of the water block is very smooth. It just has that stain. I am not a chemist, but let's pretend that I know a thing or two from Chemistry 1A. First we have Thermal Grizzly Conductor Knot, which is made mostly of gallium. Then we have the water block, which is made of copper, but it is surrounded by oxygen, and the block is constantly heated up, so it isn't poor copper, but copper oxide. But gallium can still react with copper oxide or aluminium oxide just fine, so it doesn't matter. The chemical reactions creates a layer of copper gallium that seem to stay permanently. Although this thing is non-liquid, it does help prevent liquid metal from continuing reacting with copper and vice versa. So having this layer isn't bad. That's why I said putting more tin can be good, because we still have extra liquid metal after the reaction completes. This is just my two cents, so don't take my words for it. Reality is often disappointing. So now, we know that liquid metal can react with both poor copper and copper oxide. But do you want it to react with the poor copper water block? Obviously not. So avoid using paper towel that can scrape off the copper oxide or the copper gallium surface. Or just don't use sandpaper like this spam right here. What the fuck was he thinking, man? This is the flisk polish that I still have from the Rocket Cool Direct Die Kit. I will use this to polish my CPU and AIO. That was the amount that I need for both the CPU die and the water block. This thing is very effective. Now both my CPU and water block surface can shine again, even though the mark is still there, it does look 10 times better.
I will not install the AIO back to the system yet because I will test the red dye cooling the 9900K with these two low profile coolers. This can be very dangerous, so stay tuned with me if you want to see the results. That's the end of this video. If I said something wrong and you want to correct me, feel free to let me know because like I said, I am not a chemist. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.